You mentioned it, LeBron James, he did not speak to the media after Saturday's loss, but he did tweet, like Dave said, hashtag Laker Nation, I apologize and I promise we will be better. So I want to bring in our full panel here, and Richard, I'm going to start with you. Oh, God. What was your reaction to LeBron James's tweet? No player, so I've been very fortunate. I'm not going to list all the players that I've been fortunate enough to play with. Jason Kidd, Tim Duncan, Dirk Nowitzki, Steph Curry. Are they fortunate I, to play with you? No, they're not fortunate yeah. to play. It's a cross <laughs> that they all have to bear. I have never seen a person have full understanding of everything good is my fault and everything bad is my fault. And that's what you see here with LeBron. He's not talking about Russell's not playing well. He's not talking about Anthony Davis has been out. He's just like, at the end of the day, if we if we get this, if we have all the positive things happening with a number one seed, everyone's gonna look at me. If we're struggling, everyone's gonna look at me. So he's stepping up. This is a sign of leadership. Now, does their team suck? God damn right they do suck. They suck badly. Like it is, it is really bad to watch them. It's hard to watch. And this is the thing that I think makes people really understand how bad they, they've been struggling is that no one is looking that when Anthony Davis comes back, they'll be fine. They're I like, know. man, things weren't pretty when he was here. So even when you add Anthony Davis into this mix, there's still a boatload of questions. Well, and Ramona, you have covered LeBron yeah. and the Lakers for, for many, many years. What was your reaction to that? I mean, look, LeBron doesn't do anything without being intentional about it. So when he left without speaking, that was intentional because he knew he could not say anything nice that night. And he doesn't apologize in the way that he did without that being intentional. Because I, I think LeBron's been good LeBron right now. He's not mm -hmm. going to undercut anybody. He's not going to sell anybody out. But can we just back up for a second? Magic Johnson, who quit on the Lakers a couple years uh, ago, is going to say I any more effort? Like, I, I just... But, you know, it's it's, it's, it's sacrilege <laughs> to say anything negative about Magic, even though Magic deserves some of it. Magic deserves some of it. None of, it. of the players who went and took the podium, Russell Westbrook, they didn't say anything negative about right. no. Magic Johnson. They said he is entitled to his opinion, and yep. they also didn't disagree with the sentiment of effort. Correct. Anyone looking at that game against the Denver Nuggets, yes. who, by the way, yep. are undermanned, even though they have superstar Nikola Jokic and the reigning MVP, anyone looking at that effort is not going to say, you know what, we did our best, we are proud of that. Oh, so God. there was this sort of push-pull that was happening in that game. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.